Welcome back to the Stash Club Wrestling Podcast, episode 33. How are we out in the world? We got a new setup, boy. Look at this. Look at this. Yes, sir. We got the We're prestigious. On We're, on We're on air. air. We yep. got the prestigious SCW Championship hanging up. If you're listening to the, to the audio version, sorry about describing the set real quick. Just think about it. Close <laughs> your think eyes and imagine think about it. it. Yeah. We got the shelf. We got the Ray mask on. We got the Stone Cold, the Broken Skull. We got the Mankind. We got the OMG, we got OMG moments. OMG we got moments. everything. Wow. Um, and we're we got we got just we're on a different wall. We got a brand new setup, new more, lights, more, more um, movement. We yeah, move yeah. Around I feel, a, little I feel bit more. a lot better. Um, let us know what you think. Let us know if you like it. I love the new the the. I mean, same room, new set. Same same room, new wall. Same room, new wall. That's what they say. Um, hopefully we're we're in the market for a new table, but but. We're, <laughs> For we're, now, we're upgrading here. Yes, we one, are upgrading. One step at a time. How are we, everyone? Dante, how are you? What's going on? It's good to be here. Talk it's good to me. To, it's good to be here. Before we get started, I want to say happy late mm. birthday, John. Thank you. We were going to, uh, today's Thursday. Your birthday was yesterday on mm -hmm. Wednesday. We didn't know if we were going to be filming Wednesday or Thursday this yeah, week. There's yeah. been a few floating uh, uh, factors into what we would be doing this week, but uh, happy late birthday! Thank you. I, I text you yesterday, but I hope you enjoyed. I know your this weekend is yeah. going to be more of your celebration, uh, but. Uh, I am doing good. The weather's beautiful. Yeah, the we my allergies are killing yeah. me, but the weather's beautiful. <laughs> Still, um, dude, I seasonal allergies is will be the death of me. Oh. I have them worse than anyone. I I haven't met anyone that has worse uh, worse allergies than I do. Honestly, I think this is the first pod. It's the first pod of, of the, the summer. summer. Yeah, first pod last of the week. summer. Yep, yeah, that's right. Last week was uh, I forget what twenty first. I think was the twenty first. Yeah, yeah so I think we, technically, I guess technically this would be the second one, but. Did we, whatever what's today's day oh yeah, yeah i guess whatever. yeah today is the official official first, one the yeah. first podcast of the summer um but yeah i'm trying to think what did i what did i do this week um hold on nothing huh? hung out uh, yeah i mean i kind of hung out with my girl i went to the casino again this past oh, i saw weekend. your tiktok about the lego thing oh yeah oh, so let so me tell you funny. about all right so i i do have a story this was the highlight for sure so i saw this tiktok um, it was like at a Lego store and mm -hmm. you can make like custom Legos. Like right. you, they have like this little machine. You can like make the shirt, That's cool. do like customize things, whatever. So me and my girlfriend, uh, we were going to make uh, one of each other. So mm -hmm. she was going to make one of me. I was going to make mm -hmm. one of her. So she, she's a uh, speech uh, pathologist. So she like works with kids and stuff like that. Like, you know, working with, um, you know, different, uh, you know, speech impediments, different things that they're working on, whatever it may be. So she always has this pullover sweatshirt that says speech on it. She, oh, okay. like always wears it so i so i'm thinking like oh i'll get <laughs> that that's that that detail makes the story remember that crazy remember that story that. that story i didn't know that's that a part. big that part story that's a crazy. big part of the okay. story so um so i wanted to like that's why i wanted mm -hmm. like her top to be like the the speech thing yeah. and then like you know then you like you pick out like a head the hair accessories and the pants and shit like uh -huh. that but you just customize the top so i like i, I type in speech because like she's going <laughs> Like she's like going. I'm yeah, just like I don't what know. What, like yeah. I don't know what I'm doing here. So I'm like not panicking, but I'm like okay, like <laughs> do this, and move on to the next thing, type of thing. So I the first thing I did was like write in speech, and I moved on, picked the color, mm. picked out the thing. Then you pr then you like send it through, and then they have like this big engraving machine that they like go through whatever, so they get it, make it whatever. Then we do a big revealing to each other, and she made me one, which was very good. Yeah, That's yours had, like, was good. Club yeah, wrestling yeah. on it. She had like a the had, had the, the, video, game the video game controller. <laughs> so I got her, like I said, I made her with the speech thing on. She had like a little margarita thing oh, on nice. accessory. Because she's, she's an alcoholic. Because she's an alcoholic. she loves drinking. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but the issue was when I gave it to her. Um, I spelled speech wrong. Yeah. So speech yeah. is spelled S P E E C. -H. Who would have Who would have thought? Who would have guessed? The journalism major had no idea how <laughs> speech was spelled because I spelled it S P A C H. She goes, she goes through. She goes, oh, sp you spelled speech wrong. And I go, what? She goes, you spelled. You, <laughs> you went. Spelled no, I didn't. I <laughs> said, no, I didn't. She goes, yes, you did. You spelled it with an A. It's two E's. And like I, bro, beach. I was like, I'm buying you a new one. She's like, no, I'm keeping this. Like, she goes, this is what we're gonna show our kids. One the mi day. the like, misspelling is actually, bro, like, it kind of makes it, makes it cuter. It, it yeah. Makes it, honestly, like looking back on it, like it does. But bro, I was so embarrassed. I was like, bro, I'm a fucking idiot. And then the fact, <laughs> again, I didn't know. I didn't know that she has a sweatshirt. So the fact that she. She wears always the wears a sweatshirt. She wears it all the, the time. Spell. All the time. <laughs> what? I like to think in your head, you're like, 
Damn, they spelled speech wrong on your sweatshirt. <laughs> um, excuse did me, you, you guys spelled that. <laughs> did you? Damn, I don't know. You walk oh, around. Oh no, with the original, the wrong. original one. It was yeah. spelled wrong. I was like, yeah, I don't know if you know this, but your work gave you a sweatshirt. That was <laughs> wrong. That's funny. Um, but yeah, it was it was really funny, but it was cute. It was yeah, it was yeah, a yeah. cute idea. Um, but yeah, that was that was the highlight of my week for sure. It was fucking. Hilarious. I love that. Yeah, it was it was a, it was a good idea, very thoughtful, and, and it's something because of that. Yeah, will make it more memorable. Is that expensive to do the Lego Dude, thing? It was like, I think in total for oh, both wow. of us, it was like thirteen bucks. So it's like six dollars oh. a Lego. Oh. I mean, it's so cheap. Yeah, that's, so yeah. I was expecting it to actually be like, so like twenty or thirty like 20 bucks. bucks. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That. I was like, all right, whatever. Dude, yeah. also they just have like different compartments where you can pick out the heads, the accessories. Are. You can just go in there, take a handful of whatever, and just walk out. Like no one's gonna. Say, I'm <laughs> what not, do you mean? Like, you I, can I, there's no reason to. Dude, you can just go in there and fucking steal. You it's could. Awesome. You could. I'm not telling anyone to do it, but Lego <laughs> stores don't seem to have much security. So, That's crazy. Um, but yeah, that was that was the highlight of my week. Wow. How, how was uh, how was your week? Did you make any Legos? Didn't make any no. Legos. Unfortunately, I didn't get a Lego set for my birthday, which would have been sick. But that's lame. You got some um, shitty friends. <laughs> no, it was cool. Uh, I mean, it's as good of, as good as a birthday on a Wednesday can be. Yeah, you know? it's a weird day. Kind of just kind of gonna celebrate on the weekend. Yeah. Um, but it was cool. Got to see my family. My dad actually gave me this this um, vintage Dale Earnhardt oh, Senior very cool. shirt. This was this was his that he bought in '97. Oh wow, vintage. And he was like, because he knows like me and my dad have like similar style, mm-hmm. and we both like like vintage shit and like mm-hmm. whatever. And you know, and his all of his like old like Harley Davidson t shirts, NASCAR t shirts are like original ones that like he bought when yeah. they were new you know what i mean yeah, that's sick. um so you know we did like cake and like you know got some pizza whatever did some did some gift exchange and he comes out and he he says here you know let me know if you if you want this mm. and it's the it's the it's this vintage 1997 original beautiful condition no, dale earnhardt hit look at the back of it Ooh, Ooh, wow fucking oh, that's crazy great, single great, stitch Un- year old bro, unbelievable yeah. i was like i was like and he was he was, he was like yeah if you want it and i was like absolutely yeah, I'm holy shit this. this is sick that is very um cool. yeah i got that a couple other things shout out ma shout out dad actually my mom got me this is like not for my birthday but my, my, my mom got that on air sign oh it was, she was like hey use this for the for the podcast <laughs> yeah know? that's a great idea um yeah, awesome. it was it was it was very solid. But looking looking forward to getting a little getting a little getting a little silly a little this weekend. Silly. Getting yeah, a little, can't getting get, a little crazy can't silly. Can't get this too weekend. silly on Wednesday. No, apparently apparently not. But that's been that. It's been a good birthday. Twenty seven. I feel 20, good. Twenty seven is a real age. Twenty six, not a good age. Yeah, you made 20, it to the twenty seven club. Congratulations. <sighs> Tough. Yeah, I've kind of been avoiding bringing that up. But well, but, but right, well you. there you go. You're twenty five, right? <laughs> yeah, just turned. See, twenty five is a sick age. Twenty five is good. Twenty six do- isn't real. Twenty six. Yeah, isn't real. that's how. That's how I felt when I turned twenty two. Twenty four. Yeah, twenty two. Not a real number. Yeah. Twenty four. Real number for sure. Uh-huh. Twenty five. Not as real of a number as twenty four. Yeah, I think twenty five. Twenty six. Not real. Twenty five is like quarter quarter of a century mm. and to me it was like 25 on 25 so that yeah, was like yeah the, yeah yeah i i could care less what's that called birthday. again you got a name golden for birthday golden yeah, birthday i think that's what um that's but i feel I, I feel good about 27 in my head i've mentally been 27 <laughs> for two months already because it's just like preparing for Dude, it when i now. turned 22 i was like i'm just 21 for a second year in a row yeah that's kind of like what i'm it just is. 21 squared like, i'm also this will be the last thing before we before we get into we got we got for basically the whole pod is gonna be forbidden door two yep money in the bank predictions yeah um, which we didn't yeah. even mention what we're talking about at the beginning of the thing, <laughs> but um, it's in the title probably. But I'm um, so I shut it down whenever my friends talk about this, but it's very popular with like Gen Z millennial cuss to be like, "Oh, I'm 26. I'm old. My back hurts. I'm going to bed early. I'm an old man. I hate that shit." As like I was, I turned 27 one day ago, and I'm already going <laughs> to bed at like seven o'clock at night. And my like like. Not even in my head. Like, true. 35 is, like, still young. So, I'm 27. Relative. Like, yeah. Like, I mean, 35 like, is so young. I feel like old. I hate. That's like, that's, like, a pet peeve of mine. I hate, like, when young people do, like, the. It started. It start, a couple of years ago, it started out ironic. Mm-hmm. But now, like, it's when like you when you thing. say, like, oh, 930. Wow. I should be in bed on like, a Saturday night. It's, like, it's not really ironic I, anymore, yeah. is it? It's not. You I know feel I mean? like it's, like, out subjective i guess of like what everyone's definition of young and old is to me it's like i don't think old is until you're like in your 60s or 70s even for sure even when you're for 50 sure. that's like granted like you know you know mm-hmm. i don't know if you live 100 years like you know not everyone <laughs> does but like if you're 50 that's half your life yeah you know so it's like 
you still got halfway to yeah. go, you know? So no, even like, like, that's why like, you know, like, like people, especially like our age, they're like, you know, 20, getting to be 26, mm-hmm. 27. It's like, oh, I'm getting closer to 30. And they're all like getting nervous about being old. No, fuck that. I'm 27. I'm super yeah, young. So I'm excited. Now, twenty. like I said, 27, real age. Yeah. It's now like, I'm, honestly, you know like those ages, I feel like you should be more excited about than like upset even because it's like i feel like when you're in your like late 20s 30s early 30s that's when you like you've experienced so much yeah kind of like you know you know gonna be dope. you know how you're living your life yeah now. so it's like you just kind of you know enjoy it at that point yeah like you've been through so much shit and it's like okay now i know what to do that's the thing you just like we're going on a super tangent here but, yeah, fuck it, why not? um but but a part like like when when I'm like thirty, I'm still gonna be dressing cool. I'm still gonna be listening to, to new music. I, you know, you you gotta. Who's gonna tell you to stop? You Not gotta me. you gotta stay hip. Yeah, I mean, if you, <laughs> you know? if you act like your back's hurt and your knees are gonna start hurt, and then you're just gonna make your young mm-hmm. years miserable. Exactly. And, and then when you actually do get older, you're gonna be like, wow, shit, this is a lot. Worse I wasted all I my late twenties thinking I was old. Yeah, exactly. And now, you know exactly. what I mean? It's like yeah, you know, like like even though it's you know most people say it as a joke, but it becomes less and less of a joke. Yeah, and no, like, I agree. Um, but but. 27 27 I'm here i'm excited best year yet why don't we talk about why don't we talk about some wrestling on on, on this wrestling i mean we pod? can i guess yeah we have forbidden door 2 money in the bank predictions yep i'm excited uh money in the bank predictions the the predictions championship will be on the line be on the line you're not streaming what uh, saturday right no, yeah you're set unfortunately with not. that said i will be streaming on <laughs> twitch.tv slash raspy taylor for the money in the bank oh, i was yeah. i streamed forbidden door too I'm, crazy. A, I'm honestly so upset i won't be able to watch it believe me if there was anything i could do to get around my plan i won't text weekend. you any spoilers but if no if something crazy happens yeah I'll just text i you. definitely Whoa! am gonna be like keeping up with it on twitter like yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. but i'm gonna watch i plan on watching it on sunday for sure for sure yeah um oh, i love money in the bank too it pissed me it's gonna be in london the crowd's gonna be so Good. 1 p.m. on so a Saturday, good. and think of this because that's like I'm celebrating my birthday that Saturday night. No, I just one, go right into it. 1 p.m. to I don't know wait, whatever it ends four or five like whatever. Five, yeah. Just just hang out, watch oh. Money in the Bank on stream. Leads right uh, in, leads pre-game, right into the birthday on festivity. The stream. Woo. Well, I don't know, probably not yeah, one. If one or two <laughs> blackout. By Drink, the end I know. I'm, I'm ready to go by, out. By now. the time my birthday starts, I'm gonna be black the fuck out, <laughs> guys. I can't go out. I got blackout on stream. <laughs> I got blackout watching Money in the Bank on stream. Sorry, I don't need you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Let's start with Forbidden Door. Yeah. So you streamed it. I didn't yes. watch it live, but I ha- at, since uh, Sunday I have been watching episodes um, as each day has gone by. Mm. So I haven't watched every single match, but I've watched like most of the big ones, and like I yeah. I know what happens and stuff. So. That's all I really want to kind of hit is the big beats. Yep. Um, I mean, to be honest, I'm I, I really just want to get to like the main event one. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, we're yeah. gonna kind of which. This match, main event to start, AEW Championship, MJF defeats Tanahashi. This was fun. MJF uses the dynamite the dynamite diamond ring to get the win. Later on in the night, there's a video of MJF leaving That's like awesome. halfway through the mm-hmm. show. Basically just like, I did my, and I guess, I didn't hear this, but I guess like, maybe they did it before the pay-per-view or something, but I guess like MJF asked Tony if he could go on first because he wanted to leave mm. <laughs> like after like as soon as possible That's sick. or some shit. Uh, so MJF like, <laughs> Peace the fuck out mid pay per view. Um, That's awesome. And then the other note I have is it was a great. I'm glad they started with this. This wasn't gonna be match of the night. No. This mm-hmm. wasn't gonna be you know. It was a good way to get the crowd going. Yeah, kind of just like MGF being you know with his heel tactics and so I loved the uh, the spot where uh, he had the stretch hold on him and then he kept holding on to the rope yes. and the ref would come over and yeah. he'd move it. He ended up like he, kicking his arm and he or kicked some his shit. arm. Yeah, I thought yeah I thought it was a solid match. It, like it wasn't match of the night anything like that. But probably his like on paper probably his biggest title defense. You know, yeah, like, yeah. Unless you, yeah, unless the Danielson Iron Man match. Oh, that's, that's true. I think too. That that's probably bigger. You're right. One. That's probably bigger. Um, but yeah, I mean, as far as just like another another good notch in the belt for them. Yes, you know? I think it was like a very worthy challenger. Mm-hmm. Um, and he got the win, so it just adds to his reign. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of it's kind of all I have to yeah, say. Yeah, it was it a too. solid match. CM Punk uh, defeats Kojima in an Owen Hart he Cup was quarter finals. Food. Like crazy. Dude, Punk is full heel. Yeah. Punk is I absolutely honestly, full heel. Like I wrestling it's so like heel face uh like heel face is kind of so blurred. Cuz like you can be a face and get booed and you can be a uh, a heel and get cheered type uh-huh. of thing. But I love guys that are like right in the middle where it's just like 
people. I don't even have think diff- Punk's in the middle. At I this think point. he's more of the heel, more of a heel than yeah. face for sure. But like, there's definitely a good amount of people that still like sure. just because of like the nostalgia sure, or people whatever. People live in Chicago, <laughs> yeah, the entire city of Chicago. Um, but yeah, dude, I actually really hope he seems like he fucks. With I it, hope he really embraces mm-hmm. the heel because. Like face CM Punk, like he's good. Like no matter what he does, he's great. But like as a heel, bro, he was a dick. Like he can be a dick heel, and he could really like blur the lines mm-hmm. of what's real and what's we, fake. We got his baby face return. We got the run. run. Yeah, let's do a heel in one. Uh, absolutely, and he's set up for it. Like he's 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 the dickhead that that stirred all this shit up yeah, in the exactly. company lean into uh-huh. it and come back and be a full heel. Why not? Um, this was the best he's looked too. I I. I'm I'm on record saying I don't think he looked great mm-hmm. during his return he match, which, you that. know, hey, Rusty, what are you going to do? Fair criticism. He had another uh, multi-man tag match on the next episode of Collision. Mm-hmm. Looked a lot better. This, he looked great. Yeah. Look, looked the best out of all three of those matches. Um, don't know why he's in this tournament. Don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. Something for um, you, I guess. I guess, but maybe like, they he doesn't. Can, maybe they give him the own heart championship. I don't even want him. I don't want. He doesn't need it. I don't want him. No, to he win definitely it. doesn't need it. Let me see what the because you have to think about it too. Like he's gonna have to lose. So like, and he's doing this whole thing where it's like where he's carrying around the belt, and he's like, I'm carrying this until someone beats me. Yeah. So is he just so that's why I'm thinking that he's probably gonna win because yeah, I don't see Punk w- Punk losing anytime soon. Because I don't think they'd the... waste that loss in the Own Heart Cup. You know what I mean? As much as they try to make it feel like a big deal, I don't think that's the time to to do it. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So here are the here are the participants. I'm I I have my pick. Yeah. Not who I. This is my dream. I'm you know picking as a watcher of a television show cm punk and kojima punk moved on roderick strong versus samoa joe that's happening tonight june 29th collisions on a thursday oh collisions on a thursday tonight oh it is is. oh okay i I, I have seen stuff on twitter for it they're doing that tonight um dustin rhodes and powerhouse hobbs tonight and juice robinson versus ricky starks you see like everyone in this besides like cm punk and i guess like dustin is like 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 I would want. Well, here's my pick because I think it would be fun. I want Dustin Rhodes to win. You want? I was. I, I want. Really I was say I want Powerhouse to win. Do you really? I think oh, it wow. would be a cool yeah. push for him. Yeah. The popular pick, which I agree with this pick, I would love this pick is Ricky Starks. I would, mean, obviously. Yeah, obviously, of course. Um, yeah. but I think. I mean, yeah, I, like, CM, I like the Powerhouse. Like CM Punk, yeah, it's a big name, I guess. But like, this isn't the type of tournament I feel like for like huge name. he doesn't need this like it's what i'm you, saying you don't need it's not it. it's not what he came back for yeah. it's not i don't know it seems like a weird placement for him i, I agree i think maybe they just threw him in here so we can have a match at forbidden door because i knew it, like leading up yeah. to it, they weren't sure if he was gonna wrestle or not he was supposed to ma- uh, wrestle uh kenta, kenta right yeah, yeah. And, that, and that didn't happen so yeah i, I don't know i have no I don't idea know either. i hope he doesn't win I, well <laughs> i hope he doesn't because it doesn't make sense but like i think he is i just think he is if he's doing the whole thing with the belt if he's gonna if he's gonna win it, oh, what if the own heart heel. belts in the bag? What if he's just been carrying that around the he, whole time? I think we just saw that like, he didn't bring it out for no, the door or no, anything. He, I think I don't know what the bag idea. Yeah. I guess it's that's think, definitely the AEW championship. It was like supposed to be that, to, right? I, yeah, I would I would imagine. Yeah, no idea. International championship match: Orange Cassie defeats Daniel Garcia, Shibata, and Zack Saber Jr. Um, again, this is another example. We talk about this a lot, but. What's cool about AEW and more specifically about, about Forbidden Door, we don't really watch New Japan Pro Wrestling, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. You know, no, no fault to our own. We're just not familiar with guys like Shibata or Zack Sabre Jr. Yeah, or even definitely. later on Will Ospreay or, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, this was a great match to just like see. I, I, I hear a lot about Zack Sabre Jr. So it's like just to to see, you know, put, put some talent to some names, yep. whatever. Um, Orange Cassidy retains he is the greatest defending champion currently working this was my third favorite match of the night i noted um what else what else what else this set the night rolling i put uh orange cassidy and shibata and zach saber jr at the end they all had their individual like goals yeah. and all their companies mm-hmm. and they were kind of just like you know little a little bit of a dick swinging competition I saw that. this was great i loved this match i all right i i i, I didn't watch the match fully this mm-hmm. was one of my i had on the background just kind of like doing other like on my phone but like i had it on i don't like how they're how they're um treating daniel garcia 
I don't like the dancing thing. I know oh, it's I like supposed to be funny. I, and so it I get it. But like he's supposed to be like, because I like a year ago, we were talking about this guy being like a Randy Orton yeah. type of guy. Yeah. And it's like now he's dancing. I get dancing, wearing crop tops. Like it's funny. It's cool. But it's like I wish he was taken more serious. He was presented more seriously. I and He's in the whole sports entertainer thing. Right. Which I And that's why I get it. But. I don't. I, he. I, he could be so much better. I like it right now. I don't want to see him doing this still in three months. But I, I'm. Okay. I'm loving it right now. Yeah. Personally, if it's like a quick thing, like mm-hmm. his son's getting him over. Like obviously, it's people are talking. Yeah. About, I'm talking about it. I guess. <laughs> but like, it definitely long term. This he needs to. He kind of to get yeah. more serious. Yeah. No, you're right. Because it definitely, like you he said, was weird. Fighting, he has having two out of three matches with uh, Brian Danielson yeah. last year, and yeah. now you know he's it's, in a big match. Like he was on, he was on the card, was in a big match. But... I would have wanted him to. Like I kind of wish he won this. Mm. I love that Orange Cassidy won it. I thought this would have been a good opportunity for him to lose it. Uh huh. Yeah. I would have liked to, as much as I liked seeing Orange Cassidy win it, Daniel Garcia winning this kind of would have been, cool. been. It would have been big. I am, I wonder who's going to beat Orange Cassidy because not at this point. Whoever beats him, it's Roman. Gonna be a big deal. <laughs> Who else? <laughs> Who else? What do you Who mean? Who else? Roman four belts. Come on. Um, but yeah, no. Yeah. I I think I definitely want. I actually do want to go back and watch it in full. It's I, fun. I because that's what I'm saying. Like all Orange Cassidy matches are fun. Like it's not like like it was your third match of the night. Whatever. Yeah. Like it's not guaranteed to be a match of the night, but it's definitely guaranteed to be one of the most entertaining matches of the night. Last, last year for Ben Dorham him and Will Osprey. Yeah, you know, match yep, of the night. Yeah, you know? definitely. Yeah, my, arguably. Yeah. I love your your orange cassidy arc you very much started I did out not like him at yeah first. i really yeah, did yeah. I, back in the day i like understood the character i actually respect the character a lot more now knowing like mm-hmm. the backstory of it and like where it came from and stuff um but it's just the fact that he just plays into it so well and it's not like he like he has his his shtick like during the match that you know like they do the mm-hmm. kicks like they do that stuff but like when it's time to go like it, it, he's he's going like, that's the he, thing he's going now, now they're giving him for the past year, they're giving him like good matches. He's not, he still does the joke thing, right. but they're not joke matches. And, and I like how like honest he is because I don't know when this was. It was like a press conference or whatever, and they were asking about being the best wrestler in the world. Oh, he was yeah. just like, no. Yeah, absolutely not. Like, I thought that was fucking <laughs> yeah. awesome. I really, really respect that. Uh, but no, I, I'm, I, I am like a full blown like Orange yeah. Cassidy fan at this point. IWGP World Heavyweight Championship match. Sonata defeats Jack Perry. Weird match. I, I yeah. just I, I don't know Jack Perry be I like huge spot for Jack yeah. but I I yeah I don't know there was just I, I understand like a lot of these matches no build up to right. two different companies but like I don't know I just didn't expect Jack to be thrown into a match like this Sonata ends up hitting a moonsault for the pin it didn't seem like that was gonna be the end one two three it was the end kind yeah. of kind of not out of nowhere but you know um and then uh hook is with jack they walk up the ramp hook holds jack's arm up jack clotheslines hook turning on yes, him yes he did jack picks up the ftw title kind of tosses it to him i don't know it seemed like jack was like i'm gonna no FTW please title. no i don't they think can't that's wait. the you're going from N- the new japan belt to turning heel to going after the ft no no, no i don't no. think that's what they're doing but keep him away the the funniest thing about all this is taz on commentary yes, just yes. losing his i was mind. like is taz about to go out there and start attacking him? that's my son <laughs> like that's i thought that was so funny this is cool. I'm into this. Kind of expected, mm-hmm. but it's another one of those, you know, expected doesn't mean bad. Right, right. Blah, blah, blah. He definitely needed a, a character change. And this, I mean, well, granted, uh, I watched Dynamite last night, and he did, like, a heel promo, and it's kinda... I didn't like the sunglasses, leather jacket. <sighs> I didn't like the look. And then he, like... But... <sighs> I, like, the writing of the promo was fine. Uh-huh. But, the like, there was one line where he... People compared it to people as in like one person in my twitter replies i don't know if you've been watching the idol at all or seen clips I've, of the weekend i've seen some stuff where the weekend's trying to be all serious yes, i guess yes. it's similar to that but anyway okay. the idol's so fucking bad i've Holy heard shit, it bad. terrible things about it. i'm Just, i'm i'm watching every episode and there's only five i i, I did I, so yeah last episode comes i don't out know Sunday. uh people are saying it got canceled i don't think it was i think it was like only meant to be five episodes yeah because you but, can't because they filmed everything yeah, so it's exactly. not like yeah, yeah they didn't not, know it was gonna suck listen, but like i understand no. whether it's people or not no matter what people are saying if you paid the weekend to be in a tv show and you yeah. have like 10 episodes you're also it's been it's like getting a ton of views it's terrible but it's like passing you hey i'm watching it that's, the, that's, what, that's what i'm saying there's no way it got canceled but no. all right back to wrestling um, back to wrestling <laughs> uh, the th- uh, so uh, if they're gonna 
do a move like this, like turn Jack Harry heel, you got to fucking commit to it. Because like, the, the line that he said last, I guess he's dating Anna J. He is. And yeah. he said, <laughs> the line he said was, I don't know, he was like, he was like kind of being all tough. And he's like, da -da 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 -da, and I'm still banging the hottest chick in the in here. So it's like, okay, what? Okay. All right. All right, like, all right, Jack. It's just, I wonder yeah, if I can I, find I it. I understand. Yeah. That's... But it, it's, 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 it's weird, dude. But I mean, I like it. Uh, Jack Perry getting heat. Um, yeah, I don't know how I liked his like sunglasses jacket look, but I didn't mind the look necessarily. It's not terrible. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna find. He looks it like a quick, like a but... secret agent or something like that. I don't know what he looks like. Yeah, I don't know. Like some classic like. I don't know. Yeah, I don't, oh, I'm, 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 I'm mostly trying to just think of things to say about it, but I, I don't have much for a jack. I, hey, I, I think it'll be fine. Give it I, time. Give it time. Yeah. He'll find his footing. His first heel promo ever, of course, isn't going to be an MJF level promo sure, or nothing. Yeah. Um, but for the sake of talking about it on a podcast, it was a little, it was a little, um, ah, what's the, now I'm going back to the idol. What's the guy's name? Tetros. Tetros is, is the weekend's name in it. That's his name? Tetros, yeah. That's terrible. <laughs> That's so bad. Um. Anyway, we'll move on okay. from that. Nothing. I mean, but like the, we didn't even talk about that. Match was good. Match was fun. <laughs> match, <laughs> match was good. The match yeah. itself was good. I loved the, the turn on Hook. Um, and also, it gives Hook now something. Now Hook yeah. has a story. Yeah, um, pretty on, big story. On Dynamite last night after the, after like the... Um, jack's uh promo like hook kind of chased him down and everything it was cool i yeah. love i love me some hook um anyway move on team elite defeats team blackpool combat club second favorite match of the yeah, night. i thought match. this was fucking I, crazy i didn't think it was gonna be like an actual traditional 10-man match i thought it was gonna be like a tornado match like oh, they were all okay. in the ring moving around so yeah. when the match started and there was like only two in the ring and everyone was like I liked that though. No, I liked I, it. No, so, Especially now that we're getting so they and guts. played it off very well. Mm -hmm. So usually, like, I think I'm just saying this because I'm used to WWE doing big matches like this, and they usually suck when they have big matches <laughs> yeah. like this. Like AEW actually like carried it off really well. Would I have preferred it the other way? Yes, but it's didn't, this didn't it didn't ruin the match for me. Like I think it was uh -huh. very, like how it was like the flow of it and everything was very good. So what I liked it, and I think I said this a couple podcasts ago, but like I liked this structure because we got our because like. We're getting the blood and guts match. Yes. We're you know we're getting the the crazy matches. I'm glad we got like a fucking just a normal match. match. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Um, I agree. It doesn't need a not every match needs a huge gimmick or anything. Couple of notes here. I'm gonna butcher the name, um, but one of one of the members of he was on team. Uh, I think he was on Blackpool Combat Club. Unimo, Unimo. Um, is the referee Red Shoes' his son? Oh, yeah, I thought oh, that was interesting. interesting. Someone, oh, someone wow. told me that on stream. Um, but he looked he looked great. I loved the Mox and Kingston stuff. Yeah. How they love each other, but they fucking hate each other. But Kingston yes. is still like defending him against the elite, sticking up for yeah, him in a yeah, sense, yeah. and that bled into Dynamite. And I don't know. I Eddie and John always have this really good back and forth. I'm sure it's gonna lead to. A blow off yeah. or whatever I, I love how eddie kingston is just like everything is centered around his hatred for claudio yeah he's oh. like i hate you because you're associate yourself with him or whatever last night they did uh mox versus ishii and mm -hmm. it was fucking crazy it opened up the night but uh yuda and claudio are ringside and eddie kingston is ringside but they're like on you know what i mean mm -hmm. other sides of the ring the entire match claudio you can see it like in the background from the camera angle claudio is just staring at eddie not watching the match whole time just just and it's the fun and then yeah. like every now and again eddie will be like stop looking at me stop, <laughs> like, pay attention to the match yeah i don't know if there's actual like if there is like real life i i i think there it, it, there's actual real life like i think that's what i heard too two. i admittedly don't know but much again about like it's in wrestling it's you know right. whatever it's blurred lines but like good on them to like carry it over into like on screen stuff mm -hmm. and like you know obviously be professional about yeah. it type of thing if there is hatred but yeah they, that's the whole they I, play it very well kingston is like you're supposed to be my friend but you're siding with this jackass yeah, exactly. and like all this stuff yeah, i yeah. love it there's so many i love all the micro stories and all of this yeah, it's very cool. um also speaking of ishii Takeshita and ishii really unbelievable and brutal back oh, and Takeshita, forth Takeshita when he hit him when he was on the rope and just clocked Takeshita him bro, and he just is went so, down he's really I, Takeshita's the fucking future. yeah he really is he's got a very bright future um for the win Ishii hit Yuta with a brain buster Yuta took the pin yep fall guy sometimes what are you gonna do yeah, sorry Yuta yeah. um and then 
announced on Dynamite, Blood and Guts in Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, and a little birdie has been telling me that we'll be there. A little birdie is telling me that we're going to be in the match. We have, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're going to be in the bring match. Bring your blades. Dante is on Team Elite. I am on Team Blackpool Combat <laughs> bring, Club. Bring your blades because um, it's going to be bloody. Yeah, I was, I was, I was gonna kind of ask you if we, if, if we, I mean, not that anyone's stopping us, but if we want to, no, we're going to say, no, I know we're going, oh, but oh, if we oh. want to make it public, oh, of we're like, going. Hey, we got some fucking media yeah, passes, yes, sir. baby. Yeah, Shout out AEW. If anyone, for whatever reason, uh, <laughs> is if anyone from AEW or works for AEW or whatever is watching this, thank give, you, Tony. Khan. Give someone some love. Thank yeah, you, Tony. Thank you, Tony. Um, thank you AEW. Yeah, um, very excited. It's gonna for, be fucking awesome. Yeah, I'm very excited. That's What's funny is first like, AW event being a blood and guts match. It's gonna be. Fun. Oh, that is your first yeah, AW is, show. Yeah. I think this will be my second. Yeah, because you went to one went to Dynamite by twice, and then uh, maybe twice? I just went to. Uh, I don't know. For some reason, I feel like I feel like I might have went. You went like a, a few year months ago. ago. No, you went a few months ago, and I couldn't go for some reason. Yeah, that was one. But went. I feel like and I you went. went to, like, you went to WWE. I feel back like in March. I thought I went to one in the Lumberland days. I don't know. Mm. I'm not sure. I'm I'm not not sure. sure. I, I, I haven't been to either way. When was the last time I went to a WWE show? Oh yeah, yeah. Because I went to Raw, whoever it was recently. I think too. the last time I went to a WWE uh, was the last. It may have been 2017. Was, was, was it raw it was raw yeah. before SummerSlam. Uh, me and my friends were like in the <laughs> me and my friends were in the um the funny little <coughs> side story really quick so we when you know like you walk down the ramp and you uh-huh. have the people on the side so we had tickets for like that ramp area oh but wow. we had seats three four five it was like one two three four five mm-hmm. and one two like one's like right on the ramp. right so we get there early so we're just like oh we're just gonna sit one two three whatever mm-hmm. and then the two people that were one two show up and like they never said anything to they were just kind of like looking like and the talk to themselves they never said a word to us oh shit. so they never told us to move or anything. so the three of you all got we like took ramp. their seats yeah yeah, yeah. and <laughs> I, I felt bad but like they didn't say like if they said to us be like hey you're in our seats of course what are we gonna of do? course like, it's your seats yeah. yeah but like they never said that's crazy whether they were afraid to or they whatever so yeah. i literally was on the thing like i high five jeff hardy oh that's Matt, sick our truth our truth got the shit kicked out of him and he i was like what's up he goes what's up what's up <laughs> like, Adam Pratt, like he was, i think that was the last time i went to a show <laughs> that's um, crazy Crazy. yeah that is crazy but yeah i'm look. it's gonna be awesome I'm and and to it. and fucking like i mean the the media passage yeah shit is crazy yeah. i don't know i don't know don't know what it entails don't know what it what the package is no because there's anything, no but... no media scrum which is like yeah. i'm fine with. i didn't really want to interview i want wrestlers. No, i want i want to um i want to um uh what's uh uh instigate I yeah. want to be like, so CM Punk. <laughs> did you say you're sorry to Kenny yet? So what uh, What happened when you were uh, backstage at WWE <laughs> that night? What did the big guy say to you that night? But I am I am very excited yeah. if you see. I mean, we'll talk about it. It's in it's, uh, mid-July. It's a few weeks away. Three weeks away? Wow, yeah, it's faster. Two weeks, three, yeah. two weeks away. June's three weeks. No, three weeks away. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be, be that's gonna be fucking crazy. I'm very excited yeah. for that. And we'll remind everyone as we get closer. So. For sure. AEW Women's Championship match. This unfortunately I didn't watch this match. I I also, you know, I, it's they they were in a tough spot. They were they were right after this banger of a ten man. Um for what it's worth, they put on Tony and Willow are great. Um, but like, admittedly, even I was like, again, like I was on stream and I was just like, I was pretty worn down. I that's, just need a break. That's the you thing. Know? Tough well, place. When you have a lot of matches like this and you have big matches, uh-huh. like this got put in between the 10 man and then the Will Osprey Kenny Omega match. Like, I mean, yeah. that's, that's just tough, tough placement. It is. It is very, very tough. Where did I put, did I even put down the Kenny? Oh yeah, it's right there. Okay. Um, yeah, and then there was you know there was outcast involvement. It's it is a stereotypical outcast involvement. Apparently, match. Soraya is injured. Oh, really? I don't know what from, mm. but yeah, apparently she's hurt. Tough. Yeah, Damn. tough. Well, this is also the only uh, other than the pre-show, which is Athena and someone else. Athena won, moved on the mm-hmm. cup. Um, only women's match on the card. Hmm. I guess like again, this is coming from someone that doesn't know much about New Japan or Stardom, but yeah. someone was I don't know. I guess like stardom would have been a different deal or something i don't know anything about it i, I, I really I don't, don't know unfortunately um but 
tough spot, but they took this tough spot and kind of ran with it. And had a solid match. Tony, Tony wins. Got another Tony win wins. under her belt. Yeah. And Willow, uh, what's Willow? Um, Knight she's the No, I know her last oh, name, but she's a champion. champion. The, the, and, strong. Yeah, strong. She beat uh, Mercedes. Yes, yes, it. yes. Um, anyway. Right. Let's talk about the big boy here. IWGP United States Championship match. Will Ospreay defeats Kenny Omega to win the title holy shit this is one of the best matches i've ever seen in my fucking life i love will i can't talk about i'm ready to talk about this for fucking ever i love this again we don't get to you know me and you we don't really get to experience a whole lot of will osprey mm-hmm. we saw him last year loved it mm-hmm. we saw him a little bit like throughout the year on dynamite and whatever yep. love it it is a privilege to watch this man wrestle we're spoiled a little bit with kenny but it is a privilege to watch this man wrestle. I firmly believe right now, I think he's the greatest wrestler wrestling right now. I think he's unfucking believable. Talking about Will Ospreay. I'll tell you what, there's not a lot of wrestlers that can do what both those those men did on Sunday night. I that this was Unreal. like the first match when I went to rewatch it. This was the very first match I went to. Yeah. I just it was just the story behind it just how good both of them are man and it's like Unreal. the thing is it's like wrestling obviously it's it's choreographed it's this it's that but these are two guys that are legitimate wrestlers that like they have their spots they have their like sequences whatever but also just like they're so good at making it feel real. Like when Ken, when uh, Osprey was taking Omega's head and was slamming yeah, it, yeah, busted table, him open, and then just like in, <sighs> they takes the top off and just throws him. And into also it. fucking Kenny selling that, holy and shit, selling it like busted <laughs> open, bro. And then he did it to Osprey on the on the stairs uh-huh. and did the DDT, the moves, the 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 flip onto the outside by Osprey, just the will move did a sequences. fucking shooting star press when onto Kenny when ropes. he's on the ropes. Oh holy my god. Shit. Um, the only, the only part of the match that I wasn't a fan of was how involved Don Callis was, but I yeah. get it. Cause like there's a whole him and Kenny thing. It, the, the biggest thing, honestly, not that he was out there at first and he got kicked out and then he came back and it was just kind of yeah. like, the ref was just kind of like, okay, whatever. That was the only part where I was like, Oh, I really wish they didn't do that. I don't, I don't mind that he had involvement. Like I'm glad they got it away at the beginning and, and they sent him out and that would have been cool. And I'm happy that his involvement didn't lead to the end of the match. So like Same. he gave him the screwdriver yep, yep, yep. and like he did it and he did his moves and he, Omega didn't like lose that. At Absolutely. Point. If that's how it ended, I would have been like, damn. Agreed. It would have, it would have really cause, tainted cause those, it. And it's like, it's a compliment to both of those guys. Cause they're so good. You don't need that outside interference to mm. like add to the match, whatever. Again, I get it. Don Callis <laughs> is, is incredible at just being a, a, a hated sure. character. Cause he, when he got kicked out and everyone was cheering, like th- everyone hates that guy. Um, but man, I don't have any, I don't think I have enough good things to say. Like, I don't know what else I can say about Will Ospreay and Kenny Omega. Just the, the closing sequences, bro, like the moves when he hit the one winged angel and Omega I was and he kicks say, out at one kicked out at and he hulks one. up, he starts hulking up. Oh Unreal. my God. That shit was lit. And both those guys have such a sick move set. I love uh, I love Osprey's uh like elbow like uh that he oh, goes, yeah, yeah, he goes yeah. at him. Um his move is sick where it's like has him on his shoulder. It's kinda like an F five kind it's like a, it's it's a combination between F five and Pete Dunn's finisher where he yeah. flips him over. Fucking yeah. unbelievable and Un- can you sell unreal. they both sell so good. They're good. They're one of the best matches I have personally ever seen. Almost like sure. a almost like a passing of the torch moment. Will getting the title and and they've you had know. like multiple matches for sure. Where it's just like and they keep one upping yeah. themselves because everyone was saying their last match was match of the year. Right. This it seems this to have one up it, match so. of the year. Crazy. Um, and then uh, one last note on Will, but I watched the media scrum after. Mm-hmm. He is just so fucking he's a sweetheart he's, yeah. he's so nice and humble and he's just like uh he's just like a dude yeah and he's just like in the in the media scrum and he doesn't play which I, I i don't mind the drop like you know some people like and mjf will keep up the character and i love that mm-hmm. but i also love seeing the human side of a will osprey and you know getting the real him in the media scrum and just being like you know uh just a just a genuine cool guy um, I'm I'm very hot on Will Osprey yeah. right now. I fucking you, love him. You knew um. So one of the first um, 
like when I first heard about him, is because him and Seth Rollins had beef like years ago. Like sounds familiar on, on Twitter and stuff like that. <laughs> like they were just like go like about who was the best wrestler. Like Seth Rollins was kind of I think it was more Seth Rollins that was kind of being the instigator. Mm-hmm. And then they were talking about wrestling, and then Seth was just basically talking about how much more money he makes than Will Ospreay, and then everyone was just <laughs> oh like, yeah, oh, I do remember. Everyone this. was just like okay, like yeah, yeah, you do, but like that doesn't yeah mean anything. And then I think Seth like came out and, like apologized. He was like that's kind of <laughs> stupid to say that, but that was like when I first heard mm-hmm. about him. Um, yeah, he's he's fucking dope, man. Also, uh, just kind of you were talking about like staying in character and stuff like that. I saw this um, uh, a thing with Carlito. Sorry. He's only thirty. Will Osprey he's thirty? Young. Are he you just crazy? Turned, just turned thirty two. Holy shit! Yeah, he's got. A, I mean, that's the thing. He's accomplished so much. He's got such a bright. Like he, wow. like he could do everything on the independent scene. And if he wanted to, in like five years, like join WWE and just. I like, think. Oh yeah, that's why I. Well, that's like what AJ Styles did, really. You know? Say what you were gonna say about Carlito, but I do have one more point. That um, I saw Carlito was doing. That. He was at like an indie show and like was doing like a q and A Q&A in the ring or something. He was uh-huh. on the MGF and they were like. I don't know. He, like he met him somewhere. They're like asking about. It. He goes, he goes. You know what's crazy? He goes. I was kind of disappointed when I met him. He goes because like I see this guy, just like a dick, mm. just like this whatever, and like I'm thinking in my head like I'm gonna meet this guy and he's just gonna be such a prick. He goes. I met him and he's like the nicest. Oh, he guy dropped in the, the character world. for him. He goes like <laughs> he goes. I was kind of upset because I was yeah. like I was expecting this guy to be a dick, like whatever. He goes, but he is like such a sweetheart. Like no one knows that. It's kind of nice to hear. You know? Kinda yeah. Like it's because like. But that's that, and that's what's so good about MJF is that you want to talk about really blurring the lines. Like you, he he makes me think that he's an actual asshole in real oh, life, yeah. and like no one actually likes him. I wouldn't have doubted it. Like, I wouldn't have doubted it. But like he just plays the character so well that in real life he's just not his character whatsoever, which is which is nice. But yeah, that's that's what I, I saw that on TikTok the other day. <laughs> <laughs> the last uh, last thing I have on Will is I saw it during the show. I was like on Twitter and I saw it, but. Apparently, WWE is pretty interested I'm, in Will Ospreay. I'm sure. I don't uh-huh. think he is interested, though. I think I, I oh, saw an think? interview where he was just kind of talking about because there he was talking about like um they were talking about like he has more five star matches himself than in WWE history or something like that. And then he was Holy like, shit. he goes, "Oh, that's going to be good for negotiations, whatever." And they're like, "Oh, blah, blah, blah. he goes, no, just like." In the sense, he doesn't want to leave New, New Japan. I think because I think now like with Kenny gone and AEW and stuff like. New Japan is his to run. Yeah. So I think he just I could kinda... see I could see in like but three to five years. At the same so. time, I think he'd be great in WWE. That's why I know? think that was the same thing with AJ Styles, like I said. For years he was mm-hmm. kind of floating around, like was in TNA, obviously, then he did this New Japan stuff. Um they jumped over when he was uh, you know, later in his career. At the end of the day, money talks. Like if WWE right. threw I don't know how they do money. Let's just say Will Ospreay makes a million dollars a year. Let's just say he does. WWE throws him five, six million dollars a year. You're making a five million dollar pay raise, and obviously they're going to be like, you're going to be a prominent part of our right. program. Yeah, you got to think about it. You know, you, you definitely. And have he to has think the about look. It. Like he looks like people a know world him. champion. It's not like he jumps in and people are like, who the fuck is this? Guy? Right, he's, right. I think he's a big enough name, especially now that he's an A, like showing an AEW more that people are familiar with. Like him. imagine getting like imagine getting a Will versus Roman, Will versus Ken, him versus. I mean, sorry, Will versus Seth, Cody, Will with, versus Seth, AJ. Hey, like, oh yeah, no. Yeah. yeah, the possibilities are endless. But yeah, it'll be interesting. He is a free agent soon. So it, oh wow, the, you never know. You never know. This match, like, we're going to kind of breeze over. Sting, Darby, Nido. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Nido. Um, defeats Chris Jericho, Sammy Guevara, and Suzuki. Um, th- again, this was the cool down before the main event. It's fun seeing, you know, Jericho and Sting lock up because they've never they've never wrestled before, yeah. apparently. Um, this was solid. Sting, The team of Sting and Darby won. Suzuki's always great. I love him. Him and Jericho are a funny thing. I don't know what they're doing with Sammy. After a while, like Sammy yeah, didn't like I Jericho. A, I thought he was gonna be a face. And Me nah, too. Yeah. And even like last night on Dynamite, like Sammy was pretty fine with Jericho. I don't know. I don't know what they're doing with that. But I don't, oh, burn. did you see the clip of I've Sting? heard something happen, bro? Wait. Sting. So Darby was gonna. They had um they had Sammy laid out on some tables mm-hmm. outside of the ring. Mm-hmm. And Darby set up a ladder inside the ring. He was going, and the the tables were set up far away from the fucking mm-hmm. ring. I should just show. I'll, I'll explain it while I'm looking for the clip. And then Darby set up a ladder inside the ring. He's gonna climb up and you know jump from inside the fucking ring on a ladder, or whatever. Sting stops him. Sting climbs the ladder, 
and he didn't jump from like the top he jumped from like the other side sure, yeah, still yeah. crazy and he just the tables were a little far away and he just like fucking caught his Ooh. rib it looked fucking tough oh they gotta be careful see that's the thing like oh, oh. here it is check this out boom oh, what i'll play it again yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on. oh there we go Woo. Oh yeah! Just, 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 he ate, just, he uh. ate more table than he did. Sam. Uh -huh. But fuck, yeah, he's a fucking you know, madman. That's cool and everything. But if you're gonna do spots like that, make it a little, make it a little safer for the guy. Make he is in his mid sixties, so I respect. I mean, fuck, that's crazy. But main event: Brian Danielson defeats Okada. Okay, admittedly, I didn't watch this match. Mm -hmm. I do want to go back and watch it, um, but I didn't hear enough about it. Enough good things not all okay, right not that i heard it was bad but like compared to the other matches yeah it wasn't like no everyone Will was and, like you have to watch this match will you know? and kenny stole the show even like that should have been the main event i understand why the, this was the main event but like it's will will and kenny should have been i agree really. i agree yeah uh, even in the scrum danielson and tony khan sit next to him but danielson even said he did not want to follow will and kenny yeah, and oh, he was yeah. like, yeah. he was like, he's like, but talk to talk to Tony here. I didn't want to follow him. Yeah, um, that's that's a tough that's a tough sequence right there. It was a great match, but I think after Will and Kenny, plus this got hyped. This almost the got hyped expectations. up. Expectations. It got hyped up. I mean, not I don't want to say too much. It deserved the hype, but like expectations were astronomical. Yeah, it was like a first time ever match. In a first time that. ever dream match. It was, it was like you there. Know. You know, remember when um it was. I think it was in 2020 when they were doing the Thunderdome. It was like Edge versus Randy Orton. They were like, that's kind greatest of greatest yeah. match of all yeah, time. Yeah. It's like it was... this had the potential of like being in that like same breath. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's tough when you follow a match. Like, because when you follow a match like that, people expect it to be mm -hmm. better. If, yeah. If the Will and Kenny match didn't happen, this probably would have been yeah, astronomically yeah. more, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, but this was good. Um, Danielson came out to the final countdown, yes. which I was a little critical of. Yeah. Which I get the history. I guess is a, I don't it was know his it. Ring of Honor theme right. song. Right. It's a big yeah. history. I'm I not think. a big fan of it. Bro, thank I mean, you. Like, right. no, like, I, mean, I, was, I was getting flamed on Twitter a I, little bit. I get the nostalgia part of the it. The final countdown sucks. It's cool. <laughs> it that, doesn't slap. No, it does. I think I think that's a good um, song to have for like big big matches like this, I guess. For like, like a... If it was like the theme song to the match or the pay per view, which I get, like the history wouldn't make uh -huh. sense. But I'm talking, you know, removing the history of it, which maybe is. I hope it's not his consistent. I don't. I like his. So, I like his normal theme song. So in the again in the scrum, someone asked him like if that's gonna be going forward, and I guess I guess they paid a shit ton of yeah, money to use probably, it this one time. Not so then. like they were like, we are not using that again. Yeah, we that's paid. what I'm saying. If they use it, it'll be for like big big matches but yeah. if i if i had to guess they paid anywhere i'll bet you they paid anywhere from like and this is just me speculating they probably paid like anywhere from 250 to 500 thousand yeah. for it i'll bet you yeah i bet i mean royal like when it comes to stuff like that royalties and like yeah they have the licensing leverage. they have the yeah. leverage there it's just like well you want our song you, you gotta pay us what we want so um i said my tweet was my tweet was many men is greater than the final countdown there's a you know that vince staples tweet I'm that says argue with that the vince staples tweet that's like um uh the the, the star spangled banner doesn't slap or whatever <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, or some shit like that <laughs> that's what i'm saying the final countdown just doesn't slap i'm yeah, sorry yeah, that's so funny. um but no, I agree. I agree. Removing my removing my Danielson bit and the final countdown Ow. shit, blah blah. Oh yeah, tough. Oh, shit. New setup, what's same table. Freaky. Is it the chairs or is it the table? It's the chairs. Is it the chairs? Chair? Are tough. I keep figuring. Oh my god. We're in we're, we're in talks with some new chairs as well. <laughs> yeah, we're um, we're in negotiations. But I mean, Dan, I mean, love. This is another example of we got to see Okada. I never really see Okada yeah, too yeah. much. Um, this was great. Danielson's obviously great. He broke his forearm. Um, broke his forearm yeah. his selling i forget what the what the the spot was but he gets hit by okada and he starts like convulsing on the mat mm. and i i was fucking scared mm. and then like obviously is kind of like a ploy you know kind of tricking okada How? um this was it was it was great it was it was a good match but can you look up uh how old brian danielson is yes i, I want i'm gonna guess 39 that's a good guess uh okay five foot ten he is 42 42 okay okay so yeah he's yeah he's up there a little bit he's getting there 
I, don't, I was wondering because I was like, I wonder how much, how many uh, good years he's got left <laughs> in him. Honestly, I mean, he looks, he looks, you he looks, no, he, he does look great, but he's taken, a, he's taken a few hits. In he's his taken day. a fucking yeah. beating. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. okay, we are wow. Okay. Fif- Fifty minutes in. Welcome to your money in the bank predictions, Ooh. baby. Let's do it. Um, big night. I'm excited. What's your excitement level before we get into money in the bank? I am amped personally. I'll be completely honest with you. Money in the bank is probably a top three paper. Yeah, for dude. Me. Like it's WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, and then Money in the Bank. I'm just, just a, I'm just a sucker for the big I'm, gimmick ladder dude, matches. I, I love that. Fucking shit. love the Money in the Bank mm-hmm. ladder. It's like. I, that in the Royal Rumble, just because of like their shock factor, for sure. and, like surprises that could happen, um, new stars being made. I've always been saying that I would like it to be at WrestleMania to make it feel more prestigious, but having its own pay per view yeah. is fine too. Also, it's in London, so you yeah. know the crowd's gonna I'll be fucking insane. So yeah, I'm I'm excited. Let's start with the inter. I put my notes. Intercontinental Championship, mm. Gunther. Versus Matt Riddle, who do you got and why? I guess we'll go back and forth. Okay, you start. Um, you start. Uh, yeah, you are. Well, you're the defending champ. So do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? You you decide. Challengers pit. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll go. Uh, <laughs> fine. Twist my arm. Um, yeah, I'm going Gunther. I I've been yeah. hearing. So there's some rumors going around that Mister uh, Mister Killer Orton mm. is working his way back. Apparently, he's like cleared and they're mm. waiting yeah, we're talking about the last pay-per-view too but, so yeah. there are, people are saying that he might be at money in the bank this weekend it's a big crowd he would get an incredible reception people are saying he might get involved in this match somehow but i'm not factoring that in um gunther he shouldn't lose to matt riddle um if you're like he's had this belt for almost a year actually it might be a no year idea. at this point it's so around a year um and you're talking about one of the most historical title reigns in recent memory for any for any championship um this isn't the time for him over a year over a year yeah yeah i mean he's on he's on pace to be the longest reigning champ ever i think that's he's what gotta beat honky for. tonk he's gotta I, beat honky I, tonk like i i think i mentioned this before wwe is kind of more focused on longer reigns like rewriting history in the mm-hmm. sense so it's like getting the honky tonks out of there right and filling them in with gunther so logically gunther is gonna win this yeah i also have gunther same i think it'll reason. be a good match I think that was that was one of the things i put is i think this this might be a show stealer mm-hmm. this this might go down as as match of the night um i mean i could see we'll get to civil war and all that stuff but um looking forward to it i mean riddle is riddle i think this is a good opportunity to see this the the, the wrestler riddle yep. i mm-hmm. think he's gonna drop a lot of the i mean not that he does like too much silly stuff in his matches anyway but it's gonna be nice to see it's gonna be nice to see Riddle in a fucking wrestling match, yeah, you know. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. But on record, I also have Gunther. Like you said, this this isn't the time when he's dropping his title. It's gonna be a good match, but we're yeah. next match: Cody Rhodes versus Dominic Mysterio. Very curious who you have. Mysterio I guess it's my first, turn. Yep. Now, everything in me, because I I don't want I don't want to. I think some of these reasonings are what you're gonna have, but I'm just gonna lay them out on the table. I'm curious you can kind of pick through them. Mm-hmm. I'm picking Cody Rhodes. Safe pick? Sure. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I put, do I think there's going to be shenanigans? Absolutely. Do I think Brock Lesnar is going to get involved? I absolutely do. I just don't see in the record books on paper them actually having Cody lose to Dom. Oh, I do. So I I, I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Oh, I do. I had a feeling. Oh, I do. I... I had so, hard times, brother. Oh, hard no, times. No, dude, better man. No, I'm telling no. you, bro. I'm telling you, dude. Brock Lesnar is gonna come out. He's gonna distract him. Gonna do something. Dominic is gonna get the win of his career. And bro, <laughs> that play, he is gonna get That's nuclear gonna, yeah, heat, bro. Yeah. It's just, it's gonna do so much more for Dominic winning this than if Cody won. Yeah. Like if Dominic loses, it doesn't hurt because it's like you. you Even lose Dominic, Dominic winning guy. gives Cody a lot of. Um, uh, goodwill with the crowd. I, I think or it also just makes Cody look more of an underdog. That's going yeah, into that's their what next I mean. Match with Brock because obviously they're gonna do it at SummerSlam. It like I get it. <laughs> Cody is a safe pick. Like absolutely. Like on paper, like yeah. Cody I respect you win. going with Dom. I'm going. Dom. I, I respect I you going really with Dom. I really think WWE. I really, I really want them to do that. Like that would be so funny. Not funny, but I think I think it would really be good for Dominic in his career if you want. I agree. I agree. It wouldn't I, be a like it's not going to be like a like a like um 
uh, 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 what's the word I'm thinking Clinic? of? No, it's not like it's going to be a decisive win. Like, oh, like yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. oh, like Dominic won clean or anything like that. Like, there's definitely going to be shenanigans. He's definitely going to be like lucky win, you know? But like, he's a shit heel, so... I guess in my mind, all of that same stuff happening, it happens, but instead, Brock's plan doesn't really work. Cody finds a way. Cody finds a way, gets a roll up on him, and then it's a little bit of like Brock walking back down the aisle saying, I, I almost made I'll you lose. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. yeah. But it could. I love that. I love that Cody Rhodes versus Dominic Mysterio could go either way. It could. You know yeah, I, I mean? really do. I mean, they could. They could have the match. Cody wins, and then Brock comes out after. Who they, knows? They could do that Who knows? too. So. Okay, um, I love one? that we differ on that. Me too. WWE Women's Tag Team Championships. I didn't know this was a match, but on I went on the WWE Ooh, website okay. and say it's a match. Ronda and Shayna <sighs> versus Raquel and Liv Morgan. Oh god. Um. Well, so Liv and Raquel lost. They obviously lost them because Liv got in. So they never lost though. They had to but relinquish. Th- them. So they had to relinquish them. Mm-hmm. But what I'm saying is, I wonder if. Ronda and Shayna were always going to win them from them anyway, so they just kind of gave it to them because they were hurt. But now that they're back, they might put it back on them. So my thinking, uh. my, my thinking is that thinking, but reversed. I think, I think WWE wants them on Ronda and Shayna, especially when they fe- they, they they just beat um, Isle and Fire, Dawn and Fire, champs, whatever. Yeah. They just uh, they just they just absorb those titles. Mm-hmm. They seem like they're going to go on a little bit of a run. They've been having okay matches um, for what it's worth. And part of this, like you said, uh, Liv, Liv and Raquel were the former champions. Yeah. Liv got hurt. Raquel never, Raquel and Liv never lost those titles. Right, yeah. Unfortunately, what I think WWE is doing here is this is the definitive match of, no, no, see, Ronda and Shayna are the champions because mm. they even beat you know, like like yeah, 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 yeah. they beat they beat the two who they never who, lost who never lost the title, yeah, kind of right. like an un, like a you know undisputed yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of thing. Like that's what I thing. exactly yeah, yeah. exactly. There's like this is this exactly is this like exactly CM like Punk. that. Um, so I okay. want I want Raquel and Liv, but I think it's gonna be Ronda and Shayna because I think it's they're they're doing this as a definitive. Here, no Raquel yeah. and Liv aren't the champs. It's yeah. it's Ronda. I Shana. agree with that. I'm picking Ronda Shayna, but I really want Liv Raquel to win. Same, me too. Me too. Yeah, that's. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Ronda Shayna. That's the thing. It's like, if it was, this was going to happen with Liv and Raquel. I think it's like to make these titles mean something, you have to long, you need to have longer range. You need to have, they can't be hot potato mm-hmm. in these belts. So if you, if you want to make them more prestigious, give them the, let them have a run with it. Yeah. World heavyweight championship match. Seth freaking Rollins versus Finn Balor. Who do you got? It would be shocking if Finn Balor won. Agreed. Yeah, I I think one day that time will come when Finn will have his shining moment again. Gotta, feel bad, gotta, feel, yeah, bad gotta feel bad for Finn. Gotta feel bad for Finn. You gotta feel bad for Finn. Um but Seth is, you know, still a new he's only had the belt for almost two months mm. now, you know, so it's still pretty new. Um, a lot to think about this too is because this isn't necessarily the 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 order of the matches. So who knows? The men's money in the bank match could happen before this, and that I think, has implications. I think of, the only you know guarantee I mean? is that the bloodline match is going to go on last. Abs- yeah, absolutely. Just yeah. like going off of how the last pay per views have been, this is a thousand percent. If I had to guess, they'll do one of the money in the bank matches first. The, and yeah, yeah, I can, yeah, for sure. Um, um, yeah, I I, it's, I think it's Seth. Well, again, Me too. One Safe day, pick, but yeah. One day, I'd like to see Finn do it. I just think it's too early to have yeah. Seth lose it. Yeah. Um, if Seth does lose, I think Seth's going to lose it to a Money in the Bank cash in. I think that's how I'm imagining yeah. it. Or like he loses and someone comes out cash in whoever beats him. Um, but now is not. Now is not the time. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of talk about Damien winning the briefcase. Yeah, and, and Damon they, and Finn. They've stuff. been throwing that stuff in our heads right. to make us think that. Finn, and I, I, I get it because like you want to make it be like, oh, like you know, everyone thinks Seth's gonna win. You have to make it a little bit more believable for Finn. The whole Damien being the money in the bank that could be a thing for sure. But eh. it su- sucks to see sucks to see Finn back here, and then and then lose and losing. You know, yeah. but what are you I do, do think that this pay per view is gonna be a turning point for the Judgment Day, though. Hmm. I think. Why? What do you think is gonna happen? I, I think like. Like you think, you think there's gonna be like. I think because obviously there's been like back and forth with 
Finn and Damian. Right. Uh, JD stuff. JD stuff. I think maybe after this pay-per-view going into SummerSlam or like right around there, there's going to be a shake-up or something like that. Dominic, if he wins, maybe he's like, I can win, but you can't yeah. win Damian. I don't know. Uh, it'll be it'll be cool to see what they do. There's no um, no women's titles on the line. No, unless Except like tag match. Obviously, again, you know, obligatory. We're, we're recording Thick. this the Thursday before SmackDown. So if anything happens on SmackDown or if any matches are created on SmackDown, um, what, oops, yeah, sorry, our bad. Is, but also, they're filming that uh, SmackDown's in London, I think, right? Yes. They yeah. Are. So they have the. It's women's... not going to be pre-taped, is it? I don't think so. Or it must be right because the time zone would be. Or maybe not pre-tape, but I guess the time zone is just shifted. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. I don't, I haven't heard about. It yeah, me neither. I don't know, but they're doing the Charlotte Oscar match tomorrow, so maybe if something happens, oh, they add that fuck. some money in the bank, like a triple threat with Bianca, because yeah. Bianca's not on the card either, which is right. kind of like a Rhea. Rhea and her Rhea's title, not yeah. on the card either. I think Rhea's hurt right now, um, and that's why I think she's been having squash matches against Natalia. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean. We've talked about this with Triple H. It's kind of more quality over quality. I would say I don't want the card to He's be bigger than this. He's yeah. not forcing anything. Mm-hmm. So, um, all right. So both. Okay. Both. 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 Seth both on record. Seth, yeah. All right. Now here. Here we. We're, we're getting into the thick of it here. Woman's money in the bank match. The the participants are as follows: Zelina Vega, Becky Lynch, Bailey, Io Sky, Trish Stratus, Zoe Stark. A mm-hmm. lot of possible outcomes here. Zelina, the ultimate underdog, but she had a great run um, at Backlash, a great yep. match at Backlash, and she's just great. Becky, I think one of the favorites. She's never won Money never in the Bank. Yep. This could be a good opportunity to get that notch in her belt and yep. also, you know, put her back in the title competition. Bailey and Io both have their feud going, yeah. um, so that could be fun to have. You know, one of them win, and that causes more of a riff. Maybe they have a match with the briefcase. Trish and Zoe have their thing with Becky, yeah. um, and also kind of you mentioned last pod. Maybe it's a start of a little Trish uh, nostalgia legend run. Could. Yeah. So there's, and then also Zoe, newcomer, historically. If the Money in the Bank match does its job, Zoe could win this because yeah. she's a new, yep. unexpected one. So, put really, the, put the rock anyone, on her, yeah. really anyone could win this. So, I actually am really looking forward to this match yeah. because there's six competitors. There's only two of them that I genuinely don't think are going to win. And that's Zoe Stark. I know what you just said, but yeah. I still think it's too early. I, if anything, I see her helping Trish win it right that's why she's in the match right and zelina i love zelina unfortunately i agree i just I, I don't think she's there yet i don't think she has that star power even though if she does get i the wouldn't win, even say you can like it, it would be a big crowd pop but people would like it but i just yeah i don't even think it's a case of like her being there yet because at this, this point she's no almost she's a i shouldn't have said that. i think I it's more of that. i think it's more of a look it's, at everyone it's, else it's, it's not match. who wwe is going with look at everything else look what all the you other know? competitors in the match look sure. at the directions you can go down it's not as strong ones i shouldn't have said she's not there yet because she does she definitely could be money mm-hmm. in the bank i could see her being world champ i see trish winning because the legendary oh, run is that your pick no no no, 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 okay, no. Okay, so okay, i see okay, trish okay. winning because okay. the legendary run i see becky because she is easy easy right pick. right um bailey because i can see her winning eo her neo back For and forth sure. i can see eo because her and Bailey going back and forth with it. That being said, Come I on. am picking Io Sky God, damn it. to win because that's I, like Trish. I think can go on that nostalgia run without the Money in the Bank. I think it would be cool if she won it because again, like Legend coming back, <gasps> winning Money in the Bank, yeah. adding that to her resume, adding another World Championship. That's cool. Um, uh, Becky safe, but I don't think she needs the briefcase. She's no, she's too big for that. And then it comes down to Bailey and EO. And in all honesty, Bailey doesn't need it. She's mm-hmm. already won it before. And like EO is is supposed to be the next big thing EO's on in your fire. woman's division. Give it to her. She had that banger match against Bianca. Give me EO versus Asuka, please. Yes, that's so I want so I want them to her to win. Do her versus Bailey at SummerSlam. Mm-hmm. Finish like wrap that sure. up and then go solo. Her and Asuka, when they do that feud, is yeah. gonna fucking kick I don't even, all kinds of ass. I don't even want EO to do a sneaky cash. And I want EO no, to I do want... one of the things where she puts it on a line yeah. and said, I'll see you at that be wherever. That would be I mean? sick. Yeah. Um, I, I my just, pick is also EO. For my the my my one hope is that because the last five women's money in the bank, so the last few of them, it's just been either night of cash in or the next day cash in. 
let these people have decently long reigns with these mm-hmm. three. Make it mean something. Build up the suspense. Because, like, the whole cashing it night of, it's just, like, it's just lazy. It, it, it's yeah. just we've seen it so many times. Just be different this time. And I think yeah. they will, but be different. I agree. I, I, I wholeheartedly agree. I also choose EO. Very surprised you didn't go with the Trish pick. I, um. I It definitely was one of those <laughs> two. I would love to see Trish do it, but... At EO's the right pick. Yeah, we're we're riding for EO. Yep. I, I I don't I don't have much else more to say um, than, than 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 your sentiment. I agree. Um, no, do I have I anything else? Yeah, yeah. I no, that's, that's about all I got. Men's money in the bank match. Participants are as follows: Ricochet, Shinsuke Nakamura, Santos Escobar, Butch, L.A. Knight, Damian Priest, Logan Paul. Hmm. I want you to talk first. <laughs> I know who we both want, mm-hmm. and we've talked about this in the past two or three episodes, to be honest. I, I want Shinsuke or LA Knight. Mm-hmm. Ultimately, LA Knight. LA Knight would be like my number one want. Um, he feels super hot right now. Whenever he comes out on SmackDown, he gets a great reaction. And also, me personally, I'm just a huge Shinsuke fan. Um, I don't see, other than the obvious name that we're going to touch upon. I could see Damien winning too. Cause you know, they've, they've been teasing. Yeah. The, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't personally want to see it. I don't want more judgment day involved with more stuff. They're already sure. in every in single storyline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the outlier here is Logan Paul. I Logan Paul is my pick to win. Oh, oh wow. Re- oh, Ooh, Logan Paul is my pick spicy. to win. Ooh. I think it should be LA Knight. But Logan's in the match. It's his first big match. The heat that he would have oh, I know. is insane. Yeah. The only now the the pushback that's tough for me is he's not gonna be on TV a lot. Mm-hmm. How this could and I don't even know. I don't even have too much thought of what they would do with him after. Like, I don't think he'd go after the the not the, Roman. He wouldn't do. He'd he wouldn't go after Roman. Whoever Seth. He'd go after Seth or whoever has the yeah. world heavyweight mm-hmm. title at that at that point. But they've already done Logan versus Seth. He he he. I don't know. But I don't. I don't know. That's tough. I don't know how. I don't know what how much Logan's gonna be on TV. I'd imagine he'd be at SummerSlam. Yeah. Um. 100%. So, so I don't know. Uh, That's I just don't see if Logan's in this match, I don't see him losing. He's lost a you know, he had his win with the Miz and he's beat up the Miz, but he hasn't had a big win. He lost to Seth, win. he lost yeah. to Roman, he hasn't had this big win to solidify him in as like a big wrestler. You know what I mean? I Yeah, I hear you. I think it's I, I really think it's Logan. I think it's Logan. Okay. So <laughs> So I'm gonna so everything that I said about the women's match is like not what I think about the men's match because I don't think there's many like possible winners. I no, genuinely no, think I, I, yeah. as much as I would like Shinsuke to win, I don't. I think Ricochet, Santos, Damian, Shinsuke, and Butch are just there. I get like fit like Damian. They've been talking about it. I don't think that's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Shin, I would like for it to happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. Ricochet, Santos, and and Butch, no. It's either going to be LA Knight or Logan Paul. Yeah, yeah. I ultimately agree. Now, I disagree with you <laughs> when you say that. And I, this isn't me going off. This is just what I think. Mm-hmm. If Logan does win, mm-hmm. I think that he will be around. Not like every single week, but yeah. I do think. I would hope, I yeah. think that's kind of the jump start because we signed yeah. a multi-year deal. I think it's mm. kind of more guaranteed that it's not going to be like the big, just the big four pay-per-views. At least if he wins it, maybe it's just like, okay, for these four months, we're going to see him consistently. Right. You or know, even I, if it's like a, he does like a on-screen, like via satellite or like sure. something, yeah, yeah. I think he'll be involved more, especially if he does cash it in, he, the, he's, he'd be around. So that's why I disagree with you. But why I also disagree with you is <laughs> I think LA Knight's going to win. I, I'm glad. I get I'm, it. I'm, I'm, I'm un- glad one of us shows him. I I'm understand glad. the Logan Paul being added to it definitely makes you think. Why is he in this match if he's not going to win it? I could be falling for I bait. I do think it is just to kind of build it up a little bit more, just to kind of add more of like a bigger heel in there. Star and, power. And I've said before, like I think Ricochet and Logan will eventually have their own match because mm. it's just 
Oh, they're gonna have. Some I think it's spots, Destin. dude. They're gonna have some spots. It's Destin. In this match. Um, yeah. La Knight, bro. He is just too popular right now. Everywhere they go, I've been watching. I've seen him. He's been doing like his like little like podcasts, like tour. He's been on a ton of podcasts. Oh, has he, bro? Really? He is so likable, bro. Ooh. I fucking love this guy so much. He's just been on a bunch of wrestling podcasts and oh, stuff like that, and just talk. They were, you know, him talking about how he's been getting over and how like you know. Uh, you know, Tim talking about how at WrestleMania he wasn't featured and how upset he was, but he's like, you know what, we're gonna make up for it at Money in the Bank and stuff like that. Oh wow! And just in- like inside the ropes, him- Rosenberg, Chris Van, yeah, whatever dude. His name is. And I've been seeing like clips on TikTok and stuff. Like, dude, he's so likable, and he just yeah. seems like a very like he's like very like I want to be the best. Like he's like I'm not like I'm not doing this just for fun. Like I'm doing this because I'm really good at it. Type it's of an thing. old school mentality. It's I like old that. school. Yeah. Like, and he just he has that mentality. Like mm-hmm. he just has that whole like. Um, captivating audiences and bro not even like even the podcasters say this he like when he talks bro it's literally the rock and stone cold and they (laughs) like say this and he's like he goes listening back he goes he's done like um he was like in a movie or something he did like a voice acting thing with the rock he was i don't know what it was called but this was years ago and he was just like there was a scene where i don't know if it was the rock was talking to him was or he was talking and everyone thought it was the other person they were like, oh. oh, it's The Rock. It's like, oh, no, that's L.A. Knight. Or like, oh, that's L.A. Knight talking. Oh, it's The Rock type of thing. So oh, in like, 2013, uh, is his real name Riker? Appeared on the TNT reality television show The Hero, which was hosted by Dwayne oh, The Rock Johnson. Go. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, yeah. I don't even know what that um, is. He was in a Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode. Oh, interesting. He had a non-speaking role as Mario. <laughs> Mario. What the fuck? Um, but yeah, dude, he just... And he was like, they were talking about Saudi Arabia, like when they were doing the press conference, mm-hmm. and everyone was chanting LA Knight and stuff. He was just talking about those different things. And dude, if if they have LA Knight win this match, I like, we're high on him, but they genuinely have like their next star. Oh, yeah. Like, it, yeah, yeah. Just, he's just naturally built himself up and put himself over with the crowd. And not for nothing, the whole Bray Wyatt feud like elevated him. No one ever comes out of a Bray yeah. Wyatt feud <laughs> on like on the other side looking good. He came out of that feud. Obviously, Bray Wyatt's not around anymore for, you know, hopefully right. he's healthy, whatever's going on with him. But like he lost that feud, but he came out of that looking better than either of them. That dude just has it. He knows how to get the crowd in the palm of his hands. He has a very good moveset, very athletic for a 40-something year old. Mm. He has everything. He has. I, I think he'd be such a good money in the bank holder. I think he'd be so so good. And it would. I I've said this. I wouldn't be upset if Logan won because I think it would work. But right. it would be such a missed opportunity if Ali Knight didn't win. It really would be. Here's the thing. I I don't disagree with a <sighs> damn thing you said. I don't disagree with a damn thing you said. But so he's he's gotten all that right. Mm-hmm. He's gotten the fans to love him. He's gotten himself I know, over. I know. Has WWE really is WWE really behind? Him? It's different nowadays. Triple H has to. He's, I, it's I hope so. Now. Here's it's the thing. Different, bro. Here's the thing. Like I said, I don't disagree. I agree with everything uh, you said, and I hope I hope that happens. And I say that I'm not gonna be upset if Logan Paul wins. Oh, but I, mean, I know yeah, if absolutely. it does happen, I'm gonna be upset that LA Knight absolutely. Didn't win. I'd be I'd be upset that LA Knight didn't win. Not right. that Logan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Know. But yeah, I we'll see. If we'll that see. if that threw us for a loop. The Bloodline <laughs> Civil War, Roman Reigns and Solo Sokoa versus the Usos. Uh, <coughs> this can go a million different directions. It, it can, but I hope it goes one. Yes. I just don't. I wonder what they're going to do with SummerSlam. Because that's like what they do at SummerSlam. This felt like it would have been the SummerSlam match for sure. I agree, but Roman needs to defend the belt at some point. Oh, that's. And, yeah, you're you know, right. Yeah, so yeah, SummerSlam yeah. makes sense. But. Because Solo can turn on Roman. He can side with the Usos. Roman and Solo could just win, and then they break off, and they're, you know, at the top still. The Usos could win, and then, you know, that really speeds up the crumble of the bloodline, which is already crumbled, but speeds up Solo turning on him and Roman going down because he just got pinned, potentially. There's a lot of different things you can do here. What I think is going to happen, I think that Roman is going to finally get pinned. I don't know which Uso is going to okay. do it. It could be both of them. <laughs> they could, yeah, they yeah, could do, be the, both. do the dog Double pile super thing kick. or something. Yeah, they yeah. could do that. Because I would like, I'd prefer the direction being Roman just got pinned. Now it's like, okay, this guy isn't invincible. Mm-hmm. 
doesn't lose the belts or anything like that. So, you know, he's still strong. And then it leads into like a bloodline triple threat match, like him versus both the Usos or him versus Usos and Solo. Or maybe the person, or maybe like, let's say Jay Uso is the one that pins Roman. Maybe he's the one that gets the match at SummerSlam because he pinned him. Whatever it leads to, I want Roman to get pinned because it's the best way for him to get pinned. He doesn't lose anything. And I want the Usos to get that push because if the Usos lose, it's kind of like, okay, they're taking a step back where yeah. they could take a huge step forward if they win and Roman kind of stays. If any, if he does take a step back, it's the ever so slightest <laughs> step back. Storyline, and just from a writing perspective and a story perspective, the outcome has to be the Usos winning. Because what do they do? Imagine if these past weeks of, you know, Jimmy kind of coming to his realizations. Mm-hmm. This this whole saga with Jay needing to pick his side, and he finally does side. How does it make? I can't. I'm, and you know, I'm I'm not a WWE writer. I'm sure they have their ways, but just from a perspective right now, from a writing story perspective, how does it make sense of the Usos losing? I what agree, do they? If yeah. the Usos lose, what what do they do? Like, yeah. what's the you know like? Yeah, I also no, I, agree. I also have the Usos. I assume okay, you're yeah. picking the Usos yes, officially. Yeah, yeah, I also have the Usos. Usos. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I think I don't have, not that this is like a, not, not this is a point, but I don't have Roman getting bonus pinned. Points bonus points. <laughs> bonus point if Roman gets yeah, pinned. Uh-huh. Um, I think it might be something like, I would love that. Um, I think it might be something of Solo is the reason, because right now Roman's pissed. Roman is mm. in a tornado. He doesn't know what to think. Oh, yeah. He's all whatever. He doesn't trust anyone. Mm, no, he's so on I, edge. I think maybe I don't think Solo turns or anything, but I think Solo is the reason they lose. Either like I think just Solo is gonna get pinned. It's gonna so, be a straight up match. Solo gets pinned and then Roman. Roman's like, Roman. You lost me yeah, this yeah, match. Yeah, 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 you know I have a loss. Da, da, yeah. da. And then and then maybe Solo hits him with a spike or sure. something. And that's you know that gets Usos him break. get the Solo or whatever. Either way, I, my outcome is also the Usos winning. I just don't see. Yeah. I just like 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 mm. like. If if Roman and Solo win, what's that? For all of this, yeah, all no, of this I'm, lead up for the Usos is for nothing. again. Because if the Usos lose, you go from here to here. Right. If they win, they go from here to here. I if, wouldn't even say Roman's taking a step back either. It's no, like the, progression in the exactly. Story, so you know? if Roman loses, if anything, he goes back tiniest bit. He right. doesn't move anywhere. Right. And if he wins. Does that put him up a little bit? Yeah, I guess, but not as much. As this the Usos this solidifies the Usos like more more so. I mean, they're in the conversation, but it solidifies them more if you want to call them the greatest tag team of all time. Because if you can say like this entire storyline has been to build up the Usos, especially Jay Uso, be like you know not just tag team wrestlers, but like right. big name wrestlers. If they pin Roman or they beat Roman, that continues to put them on that mm-hmm. level. If they lose again, it's you're just going back to being the Usos tag team. I do think if they're if they're gonna have the Usos win, and then this leads to a SummerSlam, either Jay or Jimmy, whoever it is yeah. versus Roman, um, or if they do the four way, or they, they do, do like something. a two on one match or something. It's like the Usos win. <laughs> they they both they both one gets the WWE, the other gets the Universal like, Championship. Or like oh, I didn't think Solo gets the gold one. Remember back in the day, like Lay Cool had the split yeah, Divas yeah, title yeah. or whatever. The well, fuck they it have was. three belts, so they can. They one got for, they one got for three each, goddamn you know belts. I mean? That TikTok did pretty well. Um, <laughs> Thank you guys. But, um, yeah, I, I just it don't. just makes so much more sense for the Usos to win. I. I've said it before. I trust whatever WWE does. I trust them because th- the story sure. is so great. But uh, I would be, I would be very, I would be shocked. If they I'd lost. be shocked if yeah. the Usos lost, just because I'd be like, oh, okay. I wonder what's gonna happen next. I guess. But yeah, I think it's gotta be the Usos. And I don't like. I don't know. Do more family members get involved on Saturday? Do uh, may, I mean what's me? I'm. Maybe, I could see, I could see there being something with Paul. I don't know. I mean, like the Paul. thing with this is, like, I'm even, I'm struggling to speculate because I have no idea what they're gonna do. Because Paul is definitely the last one that's gonna go. Yeah, I think WrestleMania, whoever he faces, let's say Cody, he faces, he's mm-hmm. going to that alone. Absolutely, yeah. he doesn't have anyone by his side, and that's when it all yeah. comes to a close. Yeah, right. I, yeah. I mean, this we're looking far ahead now, but. Yeah, I 
I just can't see the Usos losing. Whether it's Roman getting pinned or not, I just would like to see Roman get pinned because I think it makes sense. It kind of also like goes from Baron Corbin was the last guy to pin Roman to mm. Uso, you know, his mm-hmm. cousins pinning him. Um, but yeah, whatever happens, people are going to be talking about it. That's for sure. So, and that those are our money in the bank predictions. We have. The only ones that are different for us are Logan, <laughs> are the men's money in the bank, and then Cody Dominic. Okay. And yeah, no, we both play, have Ronda Shane. Roman Reigns down. Yeah, Usos. Oh, Usos, so, right? right. Yeah. Good, good catch, good catch. Just Roman winning. No, Just Roman. So <laughs> not, win. not in there. Um, yeah, yeah, definitely. We definitely tend to. I mean, there's some matches, like the Gunther match. I mean, both of us, Io Sky, Seth Rollins. Like, some of them are not givens, but. The women's money in the bank could really go. That could go either go way. Go either yeah. way. But. All right, those All are right. our predictions. I like our, I like our picks. In the comments, drop drop your predictions. Please drop your predictions. We want to know um, what do you think is gonna happen. We have we came up with our little our little our little. If you made it this far, you know we always do our phrase. Um, what you said you want is gonna be about the new set. Something about the new Sick set. Sick new setup. Sick new setup. Sick new setup. I feel like people. I think people are gonna say that anyway. Yeah, I mean, but why wouldn't they? At least, why wouldn't they? At, at least with that with that specific verbiage and phrasing will know what you made it this far yes. what Hour was 20 sick, what was it sick new S- setup sick new setup sick new setup sns i guess yeah um well, yeah, yeah yeah that's it that's it i whew. it doesn't it, it doesn't feel like the pod's over but the but i think the pod's uh, over yeah what do they say uh you don't have to go home but you can't stay here don't have to go home but you can't stay here thank you everyone we appreciate it you can follow me at rasp taylor on twitter instagram twitch youtube tiktok Everywhere. everywhere everywhere please you can follow me on twitter at dante on deck and then dante toro slash dante toro 11 everywhere else you can follow stash club wrestling on tiktok and then stash club w on twitter and instagram we appreciate you as always and that's it i, I feel like i have more to say but i don't i feel like i'm missing something but missing? well sh- should we check anything i we'll mean we a... didn't i mean uh, maybe you say that because we didn't really talk about the shows early we didn't i think i think that's that. why i feel like i'm missing we didn't touch on the show which like i mean you know forbidden door and money yeah. in the bank did it anyway. I, I will say before we get off i do want to give uh flowers to everyone in nxt right now because nxt right now is fucking Bonkers. oh yeah They're oh fun. yeah carmelo hey i watched Dude, the the uh, last two weeks of nxt has been their high two highest rating shows yeah. ever carmelo ever. hayes is going crazy. he's a fucking star he faced dude. um seth right no who'd he face finn he faced on, finn raw? on raw yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, face baron corbin who came back as the lone wolf which yes yes saw that great match yes. too um nxt everyone in nxt is fucking killing it right now shout out to Shawn michaels he is putting on a fucking show and a half um yeah i just wanted to give that yeah. shout out shout out All yeah right. definitely i definitely plan like I've been, I've been, uh, I don't know what to say, not converted because I've always had respect keeping for Keeping up with it more. I've had my, I've been awakened to, at the very least, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes is fucking he's, he's, sick. I mean, he's a great reason to watch yeah. NXT. So. Yeah. And also, looking far ahead, you know how at Survivor Series, they usually do like the champions versus champions. Mm. They didn't do it this past year because War Games. If they ever did that again, could you imagine, let's just say they stay champs, Roman versus Seth versus Carmelo. <sighs> Come on, that would be a fucking Come on. Mad- versus, that, you know, versus ta- Will Oss bro. versus Will Oss. I was gonna say talking about match of the year. You have to throw Will in there. But um, thank you for watching. Yeah. We'll let you go. Um, we appreciate it. One for the road. All right, let's get to some quizzes. I'll see you. We'll see you all week. Peace.